Uh, Mr. Miller has been a wonderful mentor for me, um, one of my uh, greatest mentors. Uh, he's taught me so much, just not only just by, you know, really teaching me, sitting me down and teaching me, hey, this is how we do things here, but more uh, by what he does every day, day in and day out with the band program. Um, I drive past the school often um, on my way home from my job, and um, his car, his truck's always in the parking lot. Sometimes I stop, sometimes I don't. But um, but I'll often stop and say, hey, what are you doing here so late? Oh, it's seven o'clock. Well, I have, you know, all this stuff to do. And and he he has really um, just exemplified the spirit of, uh, of American Folk Band. I think that for music in general, we do music because it makes us feel. It makes us feel something. And um, it makes us feel, and it changes us. Um, I, I can think of a few a few times uh, I played trombone with the orchestra at Temple Square and the Morbin Tabernacle Choir where, you know, that, that feeling of, you know, the sum of all the parts is greater, you know, than, than the collective whole. And um, so that, those are some of my favorite moments. Um, another moment, I think, uh, I played with the Utah Premier Brass when I was um, uh, about 10 years ago. We did a movie concert. We did music with a uh, with a screen, you know, we just we did the, the movie up on the screen, and then we provided the soundtrack live, and that was a pretty neat experience. But I think perhaps the the greatest uh, musical uh, moment and the one that probably impacted my life the most was probably my high school when I was in high school, um, performing uh, as a as a student. Um, we we had a at Mountain Crest High School we performed our, our, our marching band show, and that's the those are the the memories that I think changed me. Um, and made me want to do what I do now. I think it's very important for American Fork and all the bands to support all the other programs. Um, having taught at small programs, large programs, and some programs in between, um, those kids want to succeed just as bad as anybody else. And um, I think it's very important for particularly American Fork because they lead the way in Utah to be supportive um, and cheer and um, find the good things about those programs because they're all working very hard and they're all trying to do um, to, to make their programs better all the time. So what I would say to the student or the parent who is you know waffling or or concerned um, that they may not do band next year I would say this give it one year give it one year come in and we will do everything we can to make your experience as positive as it's ever been. Um, I, I, I have a strong belief that we need to keep the staff intact as much as possible. We need to keep the people, the key players who are here, um, uh, so because they're the they're the momentum and they're the they're the continuity of the group. And I would say, give me give me one shot, give me one shot. And if at the end of that year you still feel the same way, then um, I would say you can go on and do whatever you want. But I but I promise you, if you come back that um, I think you'll have a good experience and that we can continue this, uh, this great tradition. I think it's, it's very important to keep the tradition of American Fork alive and to continue it moving forward in the traje trajectory that it's been going. Mr. Miller's been um, the driving force behind that for the last 30 years and uh, I intend to keep on keep pushing the kids. It's important to set realistic goals for the students, but it's also to push them and make them feel a little bit uncomfortable all the time to keep them getting better all the time. And, um, and as good as any organization is, it can always get better. And, um, and that's my constant push is just to, okay, that was really good. Let's do it a little better this time. Let's do it a little faster. Let's do it a little slower. Let's do it a little more emotional. Let's do it a little bit more fill in the blank. And, um, and to me, that's, that's the thing that we just keep pushing and keep pushing and, and always competing against ourselves. It's not always about, oh, we're first place, we're good to go, or we're second place or third place. That, that doesn't really mean anything to me. What means something to me is that we're competing against ourselves and we're pushing ourselves every day to, to get better. I have, I have goals um, for the organization. I would love to be able to play at the Midwest um, Clinic in Chicago for the, for the concert band. I would love to see the jazz band play, you know, somewhere like, um, you know, the, the Newport Jazz Festival or something like that. Some of these um, very um, sort of exclusive, because um, that's, I mean, Mr. Miller has done so many things with the organization. I mean, I would love to do the Rose Parade. I would love to do the Macy's Parade. Some of the things that he's already done, um, we certainly want to continue to do. Um, but, uh, but I think the important thing is that we're always pushing ourselves and pushing each other and, uh, and getting better.